Hey everybody, this is Chad. We are here with quadquestions.com to discuss the TBS Vendetta. Today, uh, we are going to assume you already have it completely assembled. Uh, hopefully you watched our first video. If you did not watch our first video, you can find that video right here. Uh, so, today we're gonna go through the setup process to get it uh, flying once it's already been built. Okay, so I've got an FPV monitor turned on right here. Uh, and I have gone ahead and removed the front battery strap. The reason I do this is because we're going to need to access this OSD in here. There's three buttons on the, if your quad is facing forwards, they're on the left side. Uh, there's just three buttons. Uh, the middle one is an enter button. The left one moves down and the right one moves up. And you're gonna use those basically to enter the on-screen display uh, and you're gonna need to switch it to SBUS, most likely, if that's the protocol that you're using. By default, it will be on PPM. So uh, if you're not using PPM, if you're using SBUS, you're not gonna be able to use your sticks initially to control the on-screen display until you've gone through this process I'm about to show you. All right, so to change from PPM to SBUS mode, like I said, you're gonna wanna remove this front battery strap right here. You can also want your battery removed and out of the way. And if you look down here on the left side, if you're looking at the back from the back of the quad, you'll see there's three buttons right there. That middle one is enter, and each one of the side ones moves up or down in the menu. So what you're gonna need to do uh, to access that menu, since your sticks aren't gonna be working at the moment, you're gonna need to hold that middle enter button down uh, for just a, a second or two, and it's gonna then enter into that on-screen display. So let's go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and plug the quad in first, so we have power. All right, and on my OSD, it says center your sticks waiting for PPM, and you'll notice that incessant beeping. So we're gonna go ahead and just push the enter button one quick time, and you'll see it switches. It now says switching to S bus, and it's doing a countdown. Once that gets to zero, it's gonna say waiting for S bus. At this point, I can follow the directions on uh, the OSD that say center your sticks. So I'm gonna go ahead over here to the Horus, which has already been bound to my receiver that's inside the quad. That's the very first thing you wanna do. So I'm gonna come over here to the Horus and I'm gonna center all the sticks, including the three position switches. The reason I'm doing that is because you're gonna to have to program the mode switch and that's three positions. It's gonna ask us to move it up to the middle and down and if we're not in the middle to begin with, it's gonna make things difficult. So the two position switches can stay where they are, just these three position switches I'm gonna set. And then watch what the screen, when I move this throttle to the center, it's gonna start a countdown and it's gonna begin the calibration. So we're centered. There it goes, three, two, one. We're gonna move the throttle to the full up position, hold it there. We're gonna move the throttle full down and hold it there. We're gonna roll full right and hold it there. Roll full left and hold it there. Pitch full up and hold it there. And up does mean up. Pitch full down and hold it there. Yaw full right and hold it there. Yaw full left and hold it there. Mode full up and hold it there. Mode back to the middle and hold it there. Mode full down and hold it there. And now our calibration is complete. Move all these switches back to their regular positions. Move that throttle all the way back down. And at this point, you can go ahead and unplug and reboot your quad uh, and your sticks will now control uh, your OSD and they will control the quad, you can actually go ahead and fly now. You're all set. If you want to fine tune things later on in clean flight, that's fine, but 
Initially, you want to set it up this way via the calibration using your radio. Right now, I just want to quickly show you how to do a full factory reset. If for some reason, uh, you know, you didn't uh, watch our video and you went ahead and set it up in clean flight first, if you do that, it can cause a lot of headaches. Um, like I said, you want to do it through the OSD first, but if you did try to set things up in clean flight, you may need to do a full factory reset. And it's going to be tricky to do because your sticks on your radio are not going to control uh, and give you that access to the OSD menu. So you're going to have to do it manually. Um, to do that, you can do it. It's not too big of a deal. You just want to make sure that, once again, that um, battery strap, that front one in the back is removed. And you'll have these three buttons. Uh, you're going to go ahead and plug the quad in. And to do a full factory reset, you are literally going to hold that middle button down for about three seconds. And it then pops up on your on-screen display. It is selected, it says exit. You need to move it down one to the on-screen display option, which is this button right here. Push it a few times and we're at on-screen display. Then going to hit enter. Then you want to go down to general. Once again, hit enter. You then want to go uh, all the way around to that last option, factory reset. So we're at factory reset, enter. You'll see on the screen, it, at this point it says press enter for factory reset or any other button to abort. So go ahead and press that enter button one more time. Give it a few seconds, the screen will turn off. It'll reset, say TBS Vendetta and whatever version you're running. Once again, you're back to the RC calibration required. Uh, it'll say center your sticks. In this case, it says waiting for S bus. So we're ready to start our calibration again. And your sticks should work at this point in time. If they aren't working, go ahead and press the enter key until you get to the correct protocol, whatever receiver you're using. Uh, for example, if you're using PPM, you'll need to move it to PPM. If you're using Spectrum uh, 1024, use that. Spectrum 2048, you'll want to use that. Uh, there's a few others, but I won't mention them. Anyway, that's how you're going to do your factory reset. So uh, for advanced users, or if you really do just want to use clean flight uh, to, to set this up and control everything, you can go in, access the OSD by yawing left on your sticks. Hold that for about three seconds. We'll go into the menu. All right, so uh, you're going to want to go down to flight controller. You roll right to hit enter. You're then going to want to go down to calibration. And once again, roll right. And then right here, go to RC calibration, roll right, and then you can go to read clean flight RC data. I'm not going to do this, but uh, if you do this, it will then read your clean flight data, and you can set things up and uh, use the vendetta that way. Thanks for watching. This is setting up the vendetta, and a great radio for this quad is the TBS Tango. Uh, check out our TBS Tango video right here. Subscribe to our channel right here. And if you have any questions about anything, go to ask.quadquestions.com.